Welcome back to bringing yoga into our daily lives today. We're going to be doing some chair yoga. All right, so we'll be working with our third eye, reminding us that our third eye is just above the bridge of our nose, so bridge of the nose, right above between the eyebrows. This is our Ajna Chakra or third eye chakra. So seeing beyond the physical world, seeing beyond what is presented in front of us, that sixth sense of intuition and wisdom. So what I'm gonna start off with having you do is just little intuitive movements where we start with breath because we're gonna be listening to me talk about the third eye and the pineal gland and how that relates to our body and our life. So all I want you to do is just start in a chair where you are comfortable, where you feel grounded, and where your feet can actually touch the ground. So maybe coming forward towards the beginning of that chair so that the feet can touch the ground, finding that hip width distance apart, and then just being intuitive with our warm up. So that means head, maybe side to side, maybe forward down, maybe some shoulder movements around in circles, maybe some twisting. You could close the eyes here and just be intuitive while you listen to me talk. All right, starting here. So start with the breath and then with whatever movement comes to you that feels good with warming the body up to movement. <clears throat> Ajna is the gate to higher consciousness and an enlightened awareness beyond the thinking mind, beyond our physical eyes and what they see. The third eye relates and includes our pineal gland, which is shaped like a pine cone between left and right brain, center of the mind. This is where the translation of varying degrees of light drives the hormonal messages relayed into the body through the autonomic nervous system. Our pineal gland is influenced by light exposure, setting over a hundred bodily functions with daily rhythms. The main one is serotonin and melatonin influencing our dreaming and sleeping cycles. Many things affect our pineal gland, including radiation, stress, magnetic fields, altitude changes, and temperature swings. Continuing to take deep breaths here, reminding yourself to be intuitive with your movement. This is where we work on our personal vision. Let's work through and transcend our personal dramas, bringing in the quest for peace as an individual and collective, the liberation of women and minorities, and the proactive protection of Mother Earth and our environment. Noticing these dramas playing out for the purpose of a collective awakening Awakening to our identity and to our identity of our archetype. Do you identify as a lost child, the hero, the martyr, the great mother, the rebel, the hermit, the wounded child, or the victim? Bringing your personal identity to consciousness and awareness about the influences that come into your life. So being aware of how you perceive and see yourself and others. Becoming aware of the illusion, which is just a fixated frozen image of how you think it should be or what it should look like. As well as its brother, denial. Failing to see the truth of actuality, blocking your ability to see clearly. It is important to hold a positive vision for ourselves, for the world, and weave that vision with the visions of others. Finding gratitude, finding gratitude within, the act of being grateful, feeling blessed, seeing the positive aspects of life all around you.
choosing to be thankful and positive. Hopefully you are continuing to wind down our warm-ups. And as we start to wind down the warm-ups, hopefully we've moved through the shoulders, the neck, maybe the head a little bit, maybe even hands just squeezing and releasing. So at this point, we're going to come into more of a quiet space as the third eye is all about focus, space, and bringing in that quiet gaze. So if you could just imagine yourself possibly or your mind as a snow globe, where if you shake it up, especially during the day, we have all these thoughts, we're running around. And so you have all those flakes and you really can't see clearly inside the snow globe. But once you set it on a shelf and just allow it to settle, just like our thoughts, just like our being and ourselves also settle and then you can see clearly. It's the same thing with our intuition and our third eye, being able to see clearly with a clear mind. So let's get started here with a little bit of mudras. The first mudra that I'm gonna to wanna to show for our third eye is just take all fingers, spread them wide, touch the middle finger. So right now my middle finger tips are touching. I'm gonna take those thumbs and touch and let them point down. So middle fingers are touching, pointing up. My thumbs are touching, pointing down, and it's just the tips. Now, all the rest of the fingers are gonna slowly hinge and bend, including my index fingers. So remember, it's middle, thumbs, index finger, ring and pinky are all curling at the knuckles. Now, as we start to press slightly together, the knuckles will touch. The fingers will point down. <laughs> the middle finger will point upward. And as you see this flipped, it's an upside down heart with a crown or that V shape, that triangle above it. When you look at it yourself, it's that, that heart with a crown. So from here, once we have that, just release it right about the sacrum or solar plexus. This is just comfortably over your belly, wherever you can. Then relax and close the eyes, remembering where that third eye is located. So here we go, lengthening tall, still grounded, closing the eyes, and now taking an inward gaze to the third eye. So drawing those eyes as if they're crossing inward towards one another right at the third eye, above the bridge of the nose, between the brows. Three more breaths, keeping that concentration and focus at the third eye. And exhaling, releasing that last breath and possibly gently opening the eyes. All right, from here, I'm gonna stay with you up front for a little bit longer, so just make sure you're in that chair comfortably. A couple of dogs are around here. So we're gonna start with our breath. We're gonna start with OM, the sound OM. It's our universal sound. It's also the same sound that resonates with our earth. So come into the sound OM. And now we're gonna bring it a little bit more strength. So it's gonna happen on an exhale. We're gonna do this at least three times. So three times, sitting up nice and tall, either bringing that gaze to the third eye with eyes closed or finding a fixated place. So a drishki point for you to focus on. Oh. Oh. Uh... 
the eyes weren't closed, go ahead and just bring them to shut. Take a moment, take a few deep breaths here. You wanna feel the vibration you created, creating through the center of the chakras. So taking those deep breaths, keeping that awareness inside, inward. One more breath. And releasing. I'm gonna stay seated up here a little bit longer because we're gonna move through our physical eyes here. So take a moment, sit nice and tall once again. And what we're gonna start off with is slowly moving, now keeping the chin here at horizon level. My eyes will move up as high as they can, keeping that chin level. And my eyes will move all the way down just as far as it can. We're gonna do this three times slowly, and you're really concentrating, continuing to breathe, because as this slows us down and we super concentrate on our focus and our eyes, we're looking to see where our eyes basically glitch or where there's a space, it goes from here to here and doesn't smoothly go through that space. You're looking to slow it down so that we can go through that space and your eyes get a chance to move all the way up and all the way down. All right, starting here. Moving down. And then moving up. And moving back down. Moving up. Moving down. And it's okay if you're slower than me. Just doing your best. Last one with moving up. And the last one with moving all the way down. Starting to move back to the horizon. All right, take a breath. That was super concentration. It may have led to shallow breathing. That's okay as long as we're not holding the breath. So this is very focused. Once again, we're gonna now move from side to side, horizon level. Face is right where it's at, straight forward at that horizon. So we're using the eyes to move side to side. All right, let's start here. to one and it's okay if you're slower I'm just the guide here so if you need to go slower go slower it's better to go slower than to move fast and be glitching and skipping as we're trying to concentrate and bring it all in being able to see everything I just finished two. And three. 
Let's slowly move it back into the horizon. Once again, take a deep breath. We're concentrating. And if you need to drink some water, stay replenished here. All right, we've moved up and down, side to side. And now we're gonna move at a diagonal the best we can. So moving at that diagonal, starting in center once again, and then start to move to the side and up to this corner over here. And then move down diagonally as if you're creating an X with the eyes until you reach down to this corner over here, all the way down. And again, moving diagonally back up. And moving back down. up and back down bringing it back to center now if you start to feel a little bit of headache we are moving the eyes quite a bit so you might massage right here we just finished three you could take your time and finish up if you're still moving and gently release nice deep breath we're simply going to move the other diagonal direction and we're just doing the best we can taking our time taking it slow all right moving off to the side to that top corner and then moving slowly down to the bottom of the opposite corner Coming back up. Remember, I'm just a guide. If you're going slower, slower is best. And moving back down nice and slow. And let's go ahead and move it back to the horizon. I believe that was three, might have miscalculated. So if you feel you need another one, go ahead and do another diagonal. Take a nice deep breath here. If you need to rub a little bit, gently massage the head a little bit. We are moving those eyes. You need to take a drink, grab yourself a drink of water. All right. From there, we are now going to move in circles. So it's a big circle. I know I'm making a small circle. That's what it looks like. Your eyes are gonna start up and rotate all edges down and to the side, making that full rotation coming back up. So let's go ahead and start again. Keeping that chin level, base level. Reaching as far as we can to our gaze's edge. So to that side, trying to move slow, coming back up. That is one for me. Remember, it's okay to move slower than me. And it's even better. Slow, controlled is what we do, especially if we want to open up those channels of wisdom. I might have lost count. Wait, that was three. <laughs> so let's come back to center. Take a deep breath. Maybe even shut the eyes for a moment. Release again. We're gonna now rotate the opposite direction. Remember, we're looking to slow it down and to move as far as that edge that our eyes can stay can see while we keep this neutral face forward. 
All right, starting the other way. Moving around slowly in that circle. That was two. Remember to breathe. Not holding the breath. And that was three. All right. Now for a moment, let's briskly rub those hands together. Get some friction, get some warmth. We are gonna bring it over our two eyes as well as the third eye. So really rub some friction and warmth into that just as much as we can. Once you have that warmth, heated hands over the eyes. Take deep breaths here. This is when we could re-identify with our breath once again, focusing on the breath. One more breath here. And gently start to release that. All right. I'm going to get back into that other chair back there and we're going to move through some of this. Moving through our yoga today. All right, so this is where we find a chair. It's a little bit chilly today, so I'm not exactly gonna come in bare feet. Doing my best though to still ground, and I have some socks on. So bring it hip width distance apart. In this particular chair, all chairs are different. I'm coming up closer to the edge so I could find that support stability wherever you can find that. Take a nice deep breath. Let's have hands on knees and come right into cat. So navel to spine, chin into chest, really stretch it back. And this time with our inhale and cow, let's just draw those hands towards us, squeeze elbows in, lengthen through the torso, bring the gaze up if we can, expand. And exhale, glide back down to the knees, cat posture, chin into chest, navel to spine. Inhale, coming back to cow as we draw elbows in, lifting, lengthening through the trunk, the gaze. Exhale, moving back into our cat posture. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, let's find length here. So for some of us, we might even be on a stool. You can grab towards the back bottom. Ooh, this one I guess gives me a little bit of leverage here towards the back and bottom. I didn't think it did. Start to lift through the heart, engage those abs. We're finding that root lock, which is just a drawing in and a lifting up. And then that navel lock, a drawing in, and once again, lifting up. Heart starts to open and lift, shoulders roll back and down, and then our chin slightly tucks in so that we find the length through the crown. From there, let's extend just a little bit. Now my knees are nice and bent still. So I have very much a bend in my knee here as we are hip width distance apart. What we're gonna do is inhale here, Exhale, lift the leg, 
cross it over, squeeze the inner thighs together. So we're practicing for our eagle's pose. Then lift back up, out, hip width distance apart. Lift the opposite leg, cross over as best you can, and simply squeeze those legs in towards one another. Lift up, out, back to hip width distance apart. Up with the other leg, crossing over just the best you can here, squeezing in, lift up, over, release down, up, over with the other leg, squeeze towards your center, releasing, up, over, down, up, over and on top for the opposite leg, squeeze in, release that, out and to the side, ground it, opposite leg, up, over, squeeze, and then release. Releasing here. You can find the hips, knees, once again, stacking, toes pointing forward. So before we were slightly extended to give ourselves that leverage to cross and squeeze both times. Now we're coming to that hip width distance apart. We're gonna use the eagle arms now. So let's open wide, palms face up, extend, Lift through the heart, relax those shoulders back and down for a moment. Abs are tucking in. Low back extends all the way through the tailbone, pointing down. Let's bring the cross of the arms, one underneath the other. Start off with grabbing a hold of the shoulders. Squeeze tight, all the way up ears, contracting shoulders and arms. Then release, let's open back up. Spread wide, palms up, thumbs back. Take that deep breath, inhale, exhale. We're gonna take the opposite arm now, underneath the other, elbows bend, grab a hold of the shoulders, squeeze up, contracting arms, contracting shoulders. Gently release and open back up. So now it might look opposite on film, but I'm gonna shout out whether it's right or left just to help you be able to pay attention to which arm is doing what. So coming here again, inhale, draw back. Exhale, right arm underneath, left. Hinge at the elbows, this time palms face one another, lift up. Exhale, release. Open back up, then inhales, we open and draw back. Exhale, coming forward, this time left arm underneath right. Cross at the elbows, bend at the elbows, palms reach one another and lift up off the chest, inhaling. Exhale, release, open back up. As we find another inhale, draw the arms back. Exhale, coming forward, it'll be right arm underneath left. Inhale, lift elbows. Exhale, release, open back up. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, left arm's gonna come underneath right. Hand at the elbows, palms towards one another. Lift on an inhale with the elbows. Exhale, jet release, and open back up. We only have one more set here. Inhale, draw it open and back. Exhale, right arm underneath, left. Hinge, inhale, draw the elbows up. Exhale, gently release, open back out. Inhale, draw back. Exhale, left arm underneath, right arm, crossing at the elbows, hinge, palms towards one another, lift the elbows on an inhale. Exhale, gently release, open back up, inhale, and exhale, release, hands on knees, let's just open up until we're about shoulder width distance apart. I'm going to readjust my seat as well, so you can too, just make sure comfortable, stable, secure, knees and toes simply point the same way, so remember we're not completely wide out. We're actually about shoulder width apart.
take a nice deep breath here. Now as we exhale, engage the abs round the back cat posture. Then start to inhale, bring it to a side. Rib cage pulls to that side. Continue the inhale until you come forward. Hinge those elbows out to the side. Heart is opening here, gazing forward as you finish your inhale. Exhale, simply move the rib cage to the opposite side, pull into that side. Finish the exhale as you hang on to those knees and around through cat. Inhaling to your side. Finishing the inhale as we move forward, hinging from the hips, elbows out to the side, shoulders roll back, heart is forward. Exhale to the opposite side, rib cage is coming out to that side, and then slowly round it back as you finish your exhale, chin into chest. Last one to the side, inhaling to our side. Finishing the inhales, we move forward, shoulders move back, heart is open, gaze is open. Exhale to the side, rib cage pulling, and then hang on to those knees and round it back. From there, pause here. <laughs> Start to bring the rib cage to the opposite side. Starting to finish that inhale as you come forward, heart forward, shoulders back down, gaze forward. And moving to the other side as we exhale. Finishing that exhale as we come back through cat posture. Inhale to the side, rib cage. Finishing the inhale as we expand forward, broadening through the heart, the shoulders, the gaze. Exhale, rib cage to the side. Finishing that exhale all the way back. Inhale to the side. Finishing inhale forward. Taking our time, slow and controlled. Exhale, know what you're doing. Align your mind, align your breath with your movement. All the way back into cat. Let's go ahead and inhale, lengthen back up. All right, dog's just wanting tons of attention. Let's bring the hip width distance apart. And I'm gonna bring an object today, a ball. Remember, you can use a block, maybe your dog. No, <laughs> and just bring it between the legs, squeeze tight. They might scream. No, <laughs> not really, not the beautiful dog. <laughs> but. A cushion can work, a rolled up yoga mat, a pillow might even work here. You're just looking for that alignment from knees all the way down to your ankles and feet again as the toes point forward. You're also looking for the component, component of squeezing these inner thighs as that helps lift our pelvic floor, especially those of us ladies want to lift that pelvic floor. So start to draw those abs in. You're finding that, creating that root chakra, that root lock here then release hands palms facing down and we're going to start off with our spinal balance so opposite leg to opposite arm raising up and we're just going to use it like we're raising our hand in school so we're going to start off that way let's inhale lengthen let's use the heel to point out toes towards our nose lifting up extending <laughs> exhale releasing down. Inhale, other side. Exhale, release. Use this breath. We have strength. Our torso is lengthened as we stretch up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, other side. Exhale, down. Last set. Inhale before we change it up. Exhale. Inhale, other side. Exhale. So this core is working tight for us. Now this time, cactus arm. So opposite side still, but draw that elbow, draw that shoulder back, really tighten those abs as you're pulling back, pull forward with the torso. Bring it back. You want to keep that alignment in the back. So that the abs are working to lift and lengthen even as you pull back. 
opposite side. Inhale. <laughs> Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. We have one more set with a cactus arm. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're just going to palms face forward. They come out to the side and we're going to do both of them this time. So inhale, lengthen one leg out, expand. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale, out. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last set. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now moving into airplane arms. All that means is palm faces forward, thumb out, and you reach back. You reach back as close as you can to yourself and reach it back. All right, same thing. Inhale. Airplane arm, opposite leg lifts. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale. Airplane arm, opposite leg lifts. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Stopping right here. If you have it within you, the power, the courage to keep this item here, you're welcome to keep it there. You're also welcome to go ahead and set it aside for the next few things. All right, sitting nice and tall here. Let's inhale and just bring those arms, palms face forward, lifting up and drawing back, starting to draw the shoulder blades down the back, squeezing down, squeezing together. And let's go ahead and release slowly back down to the knees. Inhale, let's bring it up again. Squeeze shoulder blades together, down and back. And then this time, let's add the chin coming down into the chest. And then on an inhale, while we're squeezing and drawing down, lift the gaze just a little bit. And on an exhale, back down to chin into chest. Inhale, just bring the gaze to neutral. Exhale, release all the way down. Inhale, coming all the way back up. Palms face one another. Exhale, palms together, hands to heart. I'm gonna add a little bit of twisting here. Inhale, lengthen up and over. Exhale, find a twist. Palms are gonna come downward facing, fingertips extend from our shoulders. You have the option of gazing forward, gazing to the side, or all the way back towards the back fingertips. Let's inhale, bring it up and over. If this at all hurts the shoulder joints, you're gonna bring it down. So let's go ahead and open back out to the opposite side. Again, the gaze can be forward, palms down, extend through the fingers. The gaze can be to the side or all the way back. And like I mentioned, if this is hurting the shoulders to bring the arms up and over, simply release the arms down and then bring it to the other side. Inhale. Exhale, we're gonna go with the breath. Bring it down. Inhale to the other side. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale to the other side. Now, if you have okay shoulders, let's bring it up over, come to center. We're gonna do one more twist, bring it out to the side. 
Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, release those arms. As we release the arms, one arm comes across the chest. Take that other hand, bring it between the shoulder and the elbow joint, elbow, shoulder. Bring it in between, press against the body. You can then relax that elbow, but just make sure that the upper shoulder, bicep, tricep is pressing in towards your chest. Let's take a few deep breaths here. Now take this hand and draw it down to the elbow hinge joint. Then bring it to this. So the palm faces us, we're holding that elbow. Bring it up behind the head, reach those fingertips down the spine. Hang on to that elbow, draw down. Let the head come down to really get it back there. Chin might be into chest. That's when you get grounded here, press through the soles of the feet, draw those abs in and then bring that gaze straight forward to the horizon level. Taking deep breaths here, we have three. From that third breath, simply release open all the way up and we're going to come into a style of forward fold. Today I'm going to use the flat back, hands on knees, elbows tuck in, lengthen through the back, looking down. You're welcome to come into the full forward fold, which is simply rounding and releasing all the way down. Let's inhale, draw back up, inhale, reaching up. And exhale, palms come together, hands to heart. All right, opposite arm, lengthen, and then bring it to that opposite side. Take the other hand, comes between the elbow and the shoulder joint, presses against our chest. Relax this arm a little bit. This hand is pressing in towards our body. The elbow can be soft now. Taking three deep breaths here. hand that's between draw it to the elbow start to bring the palm facing us we have a hold of that elbow simply draw up back behind us it's okay if the chin tucks in right now we're reaching as far as we can down the spine hanging on to the elbow grounding through the soles of the feet now lift the chin up off the chest gazing forward at the horizon three deep breaths here Space within the belly, within the ribs, and gently release that. Now, if you still have this item, good for you. Congratulations, bring it to the side. <laughs> Let's go ahead and inhale, root to rise, lift up and over, and exhale, find your version of forward fold. Inhale, rise into arms that are extending into that T pose, palms face down, lengthen flat in the back. Don't allow the shoulders to come up to the ears. Relax those shoulders, lengthen through the neck. Exhale again, forward fold. Inhale, reach it out to that T pose, palms face down. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reaching through the fingertips palms facing down and let's bring the gaze forward really beaming through that third eye center forward take a breath and on the next inhale we're going to root to rise so flip the palms facing up inhale reach it up and over exhale palms together hands to heart 
from there, let's go ahead and bring our hands down and then open them out to the side like we would for tree pose, Tadasana. Roll the shoulders back, palms forward, thumbs out to the side, grounded feet here. Let's go ahead and just look over one shoulder as far as we can. And then slowly, just like our eyes, we're moving just as slow to move all the way through all the neck muscles as we look over the opposite shoulder. You might find an inhale as you move through center, finding that rhythm of the breath. Exhale, looking over the shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, looking over the shoulder. Inhale, center. Exhale, tilt the head to the shoulder, gaze forward. Keep the Tadasana pose here. We have our mountain, palms are open, thumbs are out to the side. Now while we have the head tilted towards that shoulder, take that opposite palm. So I'm tilting towards this way, that palm's gonna remain forward. This opposite one is going to turn down and extend through the fingers, slightly out to a diagonal. Notice the difference in the shoulder, the neck, the back, wherever you feel this, just notice. Palm is facing down. Now bring that arm closer to the body. Notice the difference. Inhale, let's lift it back out, extending all the way out to T-pose this time. Notice how our arm, shoulder, neck feel. Exhale, release back down. Now let's rotate back into that mountain pose with our arms, hands. Take the head, draw the chin down. Drawing the chin down all the way across the chest, all the way over to the other side. You're looking to the other fingertips. And then bring that gaze forward as you tilt the head to that side. Now, if you have the shoulders start creeping up, go ahead and just squeeze up for a moment and release, relax those shoulders. You're in Tadasana with the arms, palms forward, thumbs out, tilted head to the other side. Take a couple of breaths here, noticing how you feel, the neck, the shoulders, the back. Now, opposite hand is going to rotate palm facing down and then start to move it just to a diagonal, just part way up. Notice the neck, the head, the arm, the shoulder, the back. And now release as it comes down closer to the body. Notice the difference in how we feel here. Palm still faces our body on that side. Other palm is still in Tadasana, forward facing. Let's go ahead and start to lift that arm slowly. Pause again, right there at that diagonal. And then if you can, start to rise up to our T posture, palm facing down, shoulder to fingers extended. Take a breath here. Exhale, slowly release down. Rotate, palm forward facing, back into Dasana. And once again, take the gaze, the head, the chin. We're gonna look down to that other side, the same side. Chin comes down, let's press down into the chest until we come to center chest here. Now from center chest, those palms that are forward, see if we can extend back like we would for airplane. Keeping our back lengthened, hinging from the neck, lifting as high as we can, palms facing down, and squeezing the arms closer together as we lift. Then release down, and inhale. You can bring the gaze between the fingertips here. Continue to another breath as we lift up. Exhale, bringing it all the way down. Our gaze is staying between our fingertips, down to the knees. Inhale, lengthening back up. 
exhale, releasing back down to the knees. All right, palms on knees, draw shoulders up, squeeze tight, exhale, release. Inhale, squeeze tight, exhale, release. All right. We are going to get ready for Shavasana. So coming to our Shavasana pose. Watch out, puppies. All right. Getting comfortable in our Shavasana pose. The place you have created for yourself that is as quiet as you can get. I know there is outside noises happening, but your mind with the focus will soon draw it out. Closing the eyes as you find your Shavasana pose. And then releasing into the breath, just taking deep breaths here. And if you would like, once again, coming into that third eye with the shut eyes by gazing forward to the third eye above the bridge between the brows. Deep breaths. You might even touch or tap the third eye with a finger. Maybe you just add a little pressure or swirling at the third eye. And if you did have that hand tapping, pressing, swirling at the third eye, let's go ahead and release it. Sitting down or lying down under the full moon. Closing the eyes and allowing the soft moonlight to beam into your third eye. Taking in the light streaming through the center of the body. Expanding out until you are encircled, enveloped by the soft glow of the moonlight. And here we're just using visualization as we just had our blood moon the other night. Allowing that soft moonlight to pour in through the third eye, moving through the body, expanding out and encircling you. Let's take a moment to observe the rhythm of the breath. Allow the breath to deepen and slowly lengthen. Finding where the breath enters the body and allowing an expansion, a flow to move through you throughout the body Feeling into the expansion on the inhale. And on the exhale, feeling a release. Allow this flow as you become more aware of your breath, your body, your mind. Feeling the air flow in and out. Feel the life energy inside your body as you breathe in. Allow everything to just be. Accepting life just as it is. As you do this, let go. Let go. Let go. Surrendering moving deeper and deeper into your awarenesses. Letting go of practical matters, your past, your future, 
and being in the present moment, letting go of the obsession or goal. This is your journey, your adventure, without the obsession of where and when you need to arrive in order to attain or make it. Breathing in and breathing out. Focusing your awareness on this sacred miracle of life that is unfolding all around you. Noticing the minute details, observing, allowing everything just to be. If your mind carries heavy burdens of the past through unconscious habits and thoughts, you will continue to experience more of the same. True change can only occur in the present moment. Noticing you can choose to create problems, pain, suffering, all through choice. Or you can choose to create no more pain for yourself, which then creates no suffering and harm to others. Moving from reacting in past habits, patterns, and conditioning by being present and aware as you use intuitive responses to the situation. If you can find joy and ease and lightness in what you're doing, you're simply enjoying the minute details and life unfolding. If you can't find joy, ease, and lightness in what you're doing, then your life situation is covering up your present moment. Whatever your focus, it will increase. Whatever your focus, it will increase. Focus long enough in a particular direction, patterns will emerge into meaning. I see I see is to understand beyond the thinking mind and physical world. Stepping away from the idea that life is a struggle or burden. Honoring the present moment. As you find your life underneath your life situation, unhappiness and struggle dissolves and life will begin to flow with joy and ease. Coming back to the breath, as we take three more deep breaths, resonating with these words, I'm here to heal and be healed. Breath by breath, I ground, align, and open my mind to infinite wisdom and pure potentiality. I am here to heal and be healed. Breath by breath, I ground, align, and open my mind to the infinite wisdom and pure potentiality. I am here to heal and be healed. Breath by breath, I ground, I align, and I open my mind to the infinite wisdom and pure potentiality. Starting to release our breath and bring movement back to our limbs, fingers and toes. Taking that stretch overhead. Contracting by our sides. Slowly starting to bring knees into chest. If you happen to be on the ground, on the floor, maybe in a bed, couch, and then gently move to the side in fetal position. 
pressing through the arms and palms of the hands to lift us back up. Thank you everyone for joining me today. Om Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace be with you today. And Namaste, recognizing the light within you as the same light within me. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful weekend this Veterans Day. Have fun. Just make sure you stay safe and plenty of water this weekend. We'll see you next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 12 noon.